Okay, so if you haven't heard yet, Zoom has come out with a new update just two days ago on September 21st, which now enables you to use this breakout room feature where everybody, all the participants, participants can move around freely. And some people have been having some challenges getting the update to work. So there's um, a few things that I want you to remember and I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial on how to do this. Uh, now, first, first step is make sure that you are using the Zoom app on your computer. So if you're on a Windows computer or a Apple computer, you are going to download um, the Zoom client for meetings. Um, and there it also shows that the current version is 5.3. That is the most up-to-date version as of today, September 23rd. And if you are using Zoom through the browser extension, if you're using it on a Chromebook, if you're using it on a tablet, on a phone, then unfortunately these new features are not available for you yet. I'm hoping that Zoom will update those very soon so we can all experience this and make this uh, experience more inclusive to people that don't have a computer or laptop to join. But as of today, September 23rd, you can only use those new features if you are on a computer with the Zoom app installed. And if you have the app installed already, that's great. If you don't yet, this is where you can download it, zoom.us slash download. And uh, once you have the app installed, this is kind of the main app window. And um, if there's a new update that is available, you might see on the top here, this blue bar that tells you that a new update is available. But if not, what you need to do is go to the top left here where it says zoom.us. And uh, I'm on a Apple computer on a MacBook. So if you're on Windows, it might look a little bit different, but in principle, it should be the same. You click on the main menu and there should be a button that says check for updates. And once you click that, it will check and see if an update is available um, you can just click update. If you are up to date, this is what you will see and will tell you, you are on the latest version 5.3. And this is what you actually will need to, again, use those new breakout room features. And um, once you've updated your app, once you confirm that this is happening, you need to do two extra steps just to make sure that this works. And um, I hosted a little experiment yesterday where I had over 40 facilitators experiment with the Zoom breakout rooms um, and we ran into a few challenges and those last two steps were I think what people were missing. Number one, um, for the update to work for sure, you need to restart your Zoom app. So close Zoom, quit Zoom uh, and um, let me show you. Uh, so quit Zoom, open it up again, and ideally you also want to restart your computer because that way you can really make sure that it works. And then once you come back to Zoom, you open it up again, um, check again for updates, make sure that it says that you are on the latest version, and then you should be good to go. Um, again, this will work only if you're on a computer. I can't say this often enough. Um, if you're on a tablet, on a Chromebook, if you're using the browser extension um, on your computer, it won't work. You have to use the app and that will give you the most functionality. And I will post another video very soon where I'll show you the exact um, lessons that I've learned from doing this experiment with the breakout rooms and also what I can advise you to do if you're planning to use this feature. But for now, that's all I wanted to share. So. Have a wonderful rest of your week and happy Zoom updating.